Bell School for Pack the House Night, a benefit fundraiser for Jalon Fox's recovery fund. It's the Amherst Hurricanes, 4-3, 0-2 in the league play against the Frontier Redhawks, 8-1 overall, 2-0 in league play. Out of Amherst is Chris Collins once again with the FCRAT crew, Kevin Murphy, and the crew down here at uh, Frontier Regional School looking forward to what's going to be a pretty competitive game. Lots of new faces and lots of the same faces from last year. It's a very high-powered Frontier team. And uh, we're going to hear from Coach Sean McLeod about some of those names pretty soon. But right now we're going to go to the floor and we'll get some starting lineups and introductions and the national anthem as we get ready to get this one underway. Olivia Rosemore. 
The Frontier Red Hawks are coached by Sean McDonald, Courtney Parrott, and Angelica Perfido. We have a quick announcement. Tonight we will be running a prize raffle drawing for several prizes and a 50-50 raffle. Get your tickets early. We will be drawing for those prizes between the second and third sets. We're about set to go. I've neglected to mention in the open that this is the defending state champion, Frontier Red Hawks. Good thing that that was mentioned by the PA announcer, Sean McDonald, as he mentioned in the pregame interview. Got some good players on here. And the lead team leader in aces is Olivia Dean. 51 aces on this season. That's pretty impressive. And it's funny, this Red Hawk team does not so much rebuild as much as reload. I mean, this is quickly becoming and has become, I think, one of the best, if not the best, girls volleyball program in Western Massachusetts. So Frontier will be playing left to right. And the Amherst team goes over for a quick confab with their coach. Davenport, Simino, Orlowski, Topolsky, Talega, Dean, Isler, Sullivan, Zoli, Martineau, Roberts, Fuqua, and Rosewarn are the names on the varsity roster for the Frontier Red Hawks this season. And Lauren Davenport, Asher Talega, and Elizabeth Fuqua are the tri captains of this year's team. And again, best of three wins this. They'll play as many as five games. You go to 25 for the first four, 15 for the final game, and you got to win by two to take the game. First team to three gets the W. Referee Rick Duchamp with the ball, and it'll be Frontier that will be serving and it's going to be Elizabeth Fuqua with the first serve for the Hawks. Nice dig. Set. And it's put back over. Ball kept in play. And a spike. Nice dig. And they are able to win the point. So front on the board first, one nothing. And the spike. Courtesy of number four, Haley Orlowski. Double nothing, Fuqua to serve the second time. Hunter keeps it alive. Set, spike. Nice attempted dig by number two, Amanda Crow Chandler of Amherst, but could not convert it. And it's two nothing Frontier, and Fuqua will serve again. over the front of the net. Set, spike. Nice save. And put back over. Little tip. Saved by Frontier. And they're going to return it. Deep. Nice dig by Crow Chandler. And Amherst is able to keep a lot. Good volley going here. Fuqua, the set, the spike. Nice. Put back. Fuqua again sets it. A little left-handed snap by Davenport. And Amherst keeps it alive. Fuqua, set, spike. And they say it's in. Yes. Frontier gets the point. That was Ashley Talega. Just caught the inside of the line. Oh, I'm not going to say it was out. Excuse me. So Amherst gets its first point and gets the serve back. Wachowski to serve for the Hurricanes. deep and out. Frontier gets it back and Olivia Dean with the serve. Again, she has 51 aces this season coming into this game. Olivia is just a sophomore. And hits the net. 
And a first serve. So that makes the score 3-2. Amherst will get the ball back. Again, we're in game one. Best of three takes it. Friends are looking to stay unbeaten in the league, and Amherst looking for their first league win. Fuqua with the set. Spike. Nice hit. Out of bounds. And that was Lauren Davenport, 5'8 captain for the Red Hawks. And that makes it 4-2 Frontier. And, and so it went out. That was number one in the serve. We'll have to get that name. It's not in our program roster. 4-3, Amherst with the ball back. And to serve it up is Amelia Beigler. Ace. That ties the score at four. Amelia is a 5'6 sophomore. She will serve it again. Fuqua with the set. And a nice left-handed smack over. And that's a good for a point for the Frontier Red Hawks. Fuqua is going to step out, and Jalen Sullivan will come in for the Red Hawks. <laughs> Olivia Rosewarn to serve it up. Frontier lead 5 4. Good deep serve. Returned by Amherst. Rosewarn to set. Spike. Caught the top of the net and in by Lauren Davenport. 6 4 Frontier, and they'll keep the serve. Rose Warren, lefty serve. Tough return, but Amherst keeps it in play. Rose Warren set, spike by Jalen Sullivan. And it's going to be Amherst ball. It is just, just a bit over the line. 6 5 Frontier, Amherst with the serve. This is Olivia Hogan's 5'8 junior to serve it up. Good heavy serve. Rosemore set spike. Here comes the ball. Almost got me. Davenport went along with it. And it's tied 6-6. Six, six. Amherst will keep it. This is a dangerous spot to broadcast for, for sure. Hogan's good low serve again. Return by Frontier. Set. Tip over. Kept in play. And spike by Davenport. Wins the point. Set, set up by Rosewood. And Frontier gets a serve back. It is 7 6 Red Hawks. Lauren Davenport to put it in play for Frontier. Nice serve. Amherst able to return it though. Set, spike. And they're gonna say look at they it's just in bounds. So Frontier keeps the point. 8-6. And Davenport doing it all here, serving and putting away that last point. Deep serve. Unbelievable return by Amherst. Didn't think they were going to come back from that one. And set, spike, long. Good hit by Feldman, just a little bit long. And right now, Frontier leads 9 6. In game one, they will play best of three here. Davenport hits the net with the serve. Point goes to Amherst, and they get the serve back. It's going to be Trisha Sitauer, the 5'7 junior, to put it in play for the Hurricanes. Deep serve, Davenport, Rosewall, Spike kept in play. Good return by Amherst. 
Nice little tip spike by Jalen Sullivan. And point goes to Frontier. Hawks lead 10-7. Riley Isler, 5-2 sophomore, to put it in play for Frontier. And pack the house night. Pretty good crowd here. Good low serve. Nice return. Rose Warren. Spike. Nice block at the net by Clays. Set. Clays tips it. Kept in play by Frontier. Whoa. Whoa. In the face. In the face. Whoa. In the ball back. 10 8. Like a blast here. <laughs> Murphy's going to protect me from any loose balls. <laughs> My mic got knocked down too. Wow. Okay. I'm fine. 10 8. Out. 11 8. Frontier. So it's 11 8. Frontier and Fuqua to serve it. Nice block. Great block at the net by Julia Feldman of Amherst. With some help from Aaron Clays. That's 11 9 Hurricanes. To serve it is Julia Feldman. 5 6 Junior. is out, and Frontier will get the ball back. <laughs> Jump served by Gavin Port. Set, spike, long. 13-9 Frontier. And this is Olivia Dean to serve it up for the Lady Hawks. Now, it's a couple of times that Olivia's hit the net, surprising with 51 aces. But it's early in the game, 13-10. Frontier with the lead. Gonna go run, I'm gonna keep it in play. It looked like it was gonna go long. Spike returned by Amherst. Set. Left handed spike. And it's gonna be a frontier point. Thirteen eleven actually was Amherst point went out. And Amanda Crow Chandler with the serve. Set, spike, blocked, kept in play by Amherst. Set. Tipped over, returned by Amherst. Dean hits it hard and deep. Kept in play though. A pro Chandler and a punch on the road of Frontier. Box to serve it. That's an ace. 15 11. Out. Good hit back by Hogan's, but a little too much on it. And that's going to make it 16 11. Frontier with the ball and the lead. Ace. Set. 
17-11, timeout on the floor, we'll take the break. Frontier, out in front of Amherst. This is Red Hawk Volleyball on Frontier Community Access Television. Frontier comes back from the timeout, leading 17-11. So Asher Talega is wearing number one tonight. And Ash has had herself a couple of aces here in the early going. What a good hard serve. Set spike. Nice point. Nice point by Amherst there. That was Olivia Hogan's. The 5'8 junior, a nice spike of that. Makes it 17-12. Amherst gets the serve back. This is Amelia Beigler. Deep serve. That's going to be an ace. Seventeen thirteen. Another good serve. Set, spike, kept in play, set. And Amherst wins the point again. So the Hurricanes on a bit of a run here. Amherst keeps it. And this is going to be Beigel again with the serve. 17 15. Spike. Nicely done by the Hurricanes. Wow. And a nice tip over the net by Fuqua. And the point goes to the Red Hawks. 18-15, Frontier takes the serve back. And we are in game one, best of three. We saw Karsten Carey come into the building. Karsten, of course, is big things expected this year from Karsten and the Frontier Red Hawk boys basketball team. This left-handed serve, set, and spike. Kept in play, good dig. Set, spike by Davenport. Kept alive by Amherst. And what a nice quick back by Olivia Hogan. She's got a couple of those tonight. And that makes it 18-16. And Hogan's will serve. For the Hurricanes. Julia Feldman checking back into the game for Amherst. Long. It makes it 19-16. And Frontier will get it back. Davenport. One of the tri-captains. The senior. 5-8. Ready to put it in play for Frontier. Good low serve. Good return by Ramos though. That was well done. That was an like almost unreturnable serve and they put it back in play and Frontier could not answer. Jalen Sullivan did her best to get to it. 19-17. And Krisha Sitao to put it in play for the Hurricanes. Low serve. Set. Spike. Good dig. Good return by the Hurricanes. And what's the whistle? It's going to be, I think, someone 
caught the net. So it's 2017 again. First to 25 with a two point cushion wins the first game. Hawks to inbound. Nice low serve. Good return by Anderson. I think Anderson done a great job returning some very, very tough serves. 2018, the Hurricanes get the ball back. This is going to be Nicole Lambert to pop it in. Nicole Lambert is a first year student, 5 5. That's going to be out. 21 18. Hawks take it back. Rose Warren checks out. Fuqua checks back in. Also taking a seat is Jalen Sullivan for Frontier. It's going to be Fuqua to serve it for the Hawks. And a good low serve. Well returned. I believe the ball was out. So Fuqua serve it again, 22-18. Fuqua, and that's going to go to Amherst as that one was out of bounds. Or was it? Some more substitutions coming in for the Hurricanes. And it's going to be Jordan Makowski. Serve it up for Amherst. 22-19. Good low serve. Fuqua with the set. Good spike. And kept alive by Amherst. What a play by Lambert to keep it in. And the spike return is a point. But wow, Lambert did a great job even to keep that ball in play. 23-19. Frontier knocking on the door of a win in game one. This is Dean. To serve it. And that's going to be just returned by Amherst. Looked like it was headed for an ace, but Fuqua, the set, spike, point. And we have game point upcoming for Frontier. They make this point, they win the first game. The first team to three wins the match. Game point for the Red Hawks. Dean to serve. Over. Fuqua with the set. Davenport the spike. And that's it. Davenport puts away game one. At the end of game one. Frontier takes game one, 25 to 19. Game two upcoming. This is Red Hawk Volleyball on Frontier Community Access Television. We're here at Frontier Regional School. It's Pack the House Night for Frontier Volleyball. We're here with Coach Sean McLeod. Amherst and Frontier upcoming. This is always a good rivalry game. You yes. guys always play to the tough. Uh, talk about what we can expect to see them. Well, it's the uh, second time we've played Amherst. You know, always a tough league match uh, with them. Uh, you know, um, they're kind of a little bit in a little rebuilding mode. And, um, you know, they lost one of their best players to an ACL injury. Uh, so they're still trying to figure some stuff out. And But, you know, we're always expecting a tough match with Amherst. Yeah, last year was very competitive. We were here for the same event. Yes. And this is Pack the House Night. It's a fundraiser. Talking about what the cause is this year. Yeah, um, you know, usually our Pack the House isn't a fundraiser, and it's just a uh, night to try to get everybody out to come watch a volleyball game. Um, tonight, we're, we're trying to raise some money for a local athlete. Um, you know, for those that don't know, I also coach the Athol Boys in the spring, and one of our JV players was in a serious accident um, in August. Uh, was hit by a truck, and, you know, he's got a really long road to recovery. He's lucky to be alive. Uh, he's just still in a rehab facility, you know, working on trying to walk again and mm -hmm. being able to talk and things like that. So uh, we're trying to, you know, help out his family, single mom. You know, she's been missing some work, trying to be down in Boston all the time. And, um, you know, for us, you know, our community has always stepped up when uh, when we've asked them to. And so we're, we're hoping that happens again. And, um, you know, even though uh, he's from Athol, 
um, you know, he's a volleyballer, and that's uh, that means he's one of us. And so we, uh, we're going to try to help our own. Let's talk about what we can expect from your team this year. You're off to a pretty good start. Uh, you lost Ella Dean to graduation. Some other talent left, but you got a, a great core here. Yeah. Uh, what can we expect to see tonight from the Frontier Red Hawks? Well, um, we're hoping we're going to see some strong serving. That's kind of one of our hallmarks. Um, Olivia Dean has been really... Uh, tearing it up from the service line. Ella's little sister, little right. big sister. Yes. Um, and you know, um, you know, hoping to have a strong service game and a strong attack. And like Lauren and Olivia have been uh, strong offensively for us, and Ashley Talega as well. So, you know, we're we're still trying to figure out, you know, the new version of the Red Hawks for this year. Um, you know, but we've had a good start so far. Eight and one, <coughs> two and zero in the league, and looking to make it three and zero. Yep. Uh, Ella was very good at, at setting a lot of these spikes. Uh, who do you have in the middle to set things up? Well, right now we got um, we got um, Elizabeth Fuqua, senior captain. Um, she's our you know she's our primary setter, and we've also got uh, Olivia Rose Warren, a sophomore. Um, we've been kind of going back between using one setter with Elizabeth, and sometimes we use two setters with both of them. So it's kind of trying to figure out which of that looks best for us right now. But they've both been doing a good job and working hard. Should be a fun night of volleyball. Looking yes. forward to it. Sean McLeod, good luck tonight, and right. I hope you come away with a W. All right, thank you. Is that a good game? All right, game two upcoming. Frontier took game one by a count of 25 to 19, although some good, impressive net play by the Amherst Hurricanes. There were a couple of serves there by Frontier that didn't look returnable and they were able to return them. So Amherst did a good job hanging in there, but in the end, I think the net play of Lauren Davenport was a big factor and certainly some opportunistic serving. And I think that Fuqua and Rose Warren did a great job setting up at the net to set up Davenport and others for some key hits. So it's Orlowski, Talega, Dean, Davenport, Fuqua, and Riley Isler out there for the Frontier Red Hawks to start game two. Again, the first one to three games wins the match. Dig, set by Fuqua, hit over, hooked and played by Hammer. Spike, is played by Isler, and Dean hammers it. Kept in play by the Hurricanes. Good return. Set, tip by Talega. Hammers, nice tip, keeping it alive. Big spike by Dean, that's going to be a point. That was a great volley, some nice ball play on both sides. Great work on the net especially. But it's one nothing Frontier and Olivia Dean to serve for Frontier. Good low serve, that's gonna be an ace. That's Olivia's first ace of the game. She's got 50 plus aces on the year. Oh, good low serve. This time is returned. Dean's able to keep it. Fuqua over to Davenport. And that's out of bounds. And we will get it back. I want to thank our crew tonight, Sam Finch, Ben Roberts, Kevin Murphy, the executive producer, Alec Eckler is here, as well as Angela Self taking some, uh, some photographs of the game. Always fun to be here for Volleyball at Frontier. What a spike. Oh, went long. Actually, they're going to give the point to Frontier. Davidport just dropped the hammer. I thought it might have gone out of bounds, but it did not. So Ashley Talega wearing number one 
will serve it up for Frontier. Jump serve. Ace. It was almost unreturnable, although there have been a couple of serves tonight that looked unreturnable that Amherst was able to put back in play. Talega to serve it again. Another very tough low serve, returned nicely by Amherst. And a whistle. And that's going to be Edwards Fall. 4-2. And this is Hitower. Serving it for Amherst. Davenport, nice set by Fuqua. And what did they call? It's going to be a frontier point. Fuqua checks out. Rose Warren checks back in. Jalen Sullivan also back into the game for Frontier. Olivia Rose Warren to serve it for the Hawks. Frontier has never trailed in this game. Wicked serve. Kept alive by the Hurricanes. Oh, that's going to be a point for Amherst. Again, Amherst did a great job of turning some very difficult serves. And they kill 5-3. Olivia Hogan's to serve it up for Amherst. It's always a fun rivalry. We've done a couple of these games now, and it's always competitive. Oh, it just caught the top of the net. Ace. 5-4, Frontier. Hogan's another low serve. Davenport keeps it alive. Set, spike, let's dig. Davenport, huge spike. And Amherst somehow keeps it alive, but they actually stepped out of bounds. But that was amazing that they were able to even keep that in play. 6-4, Red Hawks. And it's going to be Lauren Davenport. Had a fine game at the net. Not a bad game serving either. For Frontier. Good low serve again. Set. Nice return. Actually, this hit was out of bounds, I think. So Frontier will get the point, 7-4. And Davenport will serve it again. Davenport, low serve, set. Spike did not make it over the net. That was a tough break for Lambert. It looked like she was going to get it over the net. It didn't quite happen. So 8-4. So Frontier with three unanswered points here. Davenport. This knuckle serve. Want a turn. No, no. Unreturnable. So that <laughs> technically is an ace. 9-4. the next switch. Next stop. Right now Frontier is cruising through game two. And that's a net okay. Spoke too soon. 9-5. Amherst will get it back. Dig, set, spike by Dean. Amherst able to keep it alive, and they get it over the net. Nice play by the Hurricanes at the net. And that was number eight. Christian at Tower who made that happen. Great play. 9-6, Amherst with trailing, but they have the ball. It's a tower. That's going to be long. 10-6, Frontier. Checking back into the game is Talega. Checking out is Sarah Zoli. And... Riley Isler 
to serve it for Frontier. Deep serve. The dig set. And spike set up by Davenport. Talega, excuse me, that was uh, Rose Warren who tried to set up Dean. And the ball did not make it over the net. So Amherst will get it back. That is Nicole Lambert to serve for Amherst. Oh, that one kind of handcuffed this one, but they kept it alive. Nicely done. Tip. Dig. Set. And knocked back over by Rose Warren. Good job by Frontier to keep that ball alive. Insler puts it back over. Set. Spike. Hurt. Rose Warren did her best to try and save that one, but that was just a wicked hit. And it's 10-8. As the Hurricanes are creeping up on Frontier. Set. Spike blocked. Out. 11 8 Frontier. And some substitutions coming in. Lily Orlowski back into the game, as is Fuqua. And Fuqua will serve it. That's a teardrop over the top of the net. Tip back. Knocked back by Talega. Spike block at the net. Nicely done by Frontier. Oh, but they were able to get back to it. Aaron Clay with a spike. Well, that was some nice network there by Orlowski and Talega, but Amherst, again, able to stay in it. Made some really, really good mid-court plays and some great plays with the net. Six hour now to serve for Amherst. Ace. That's 11-10 now for the Red Hawks. Just over the net, set, spiked by Dean. Back, Frontier. Dean to serve. Deep serve. Nice dig to keep it alive. Nice block of the net by Frontier. Dean. Able to return it. Set. Spike. This dig by Fuqua. And Davenport. Oh, but a nice return. Great dig by Amherst to keep it alive. Dean spikes it out. 12 11. Amherst to serve. Amanda Pro Chandler to serve for the Hurricanes. Nice. Just cleared the net, and we are tied for the first time in this game. 12 12. Amherst can take their first lead with a point here. Dean with the dig. Fuqua. And the hit by Orlowski did not clear the net, and Amherst takes their first lead of the game, 13 to 12. And they keep the serve. Her Chandler now. Yeah. 
set. Spike by Davenport. That's the net return in that thing. No way. Yowza. Lauren Davenport has been a monster at the net tonight. And Ashley Talega will serve for Frontier. Set. Spike. Out. 14-13. Talega to serve again. And that's going to be out. 14-14. Amelia Beigel to serve it. The sophomore for Amherst. Dean to Isler. Davenport hammers it. But they're able to keep it in play. Dean set. Spike. Just got over the top of the net by Sarah Zoli. And point goes to Frontier. I think. Yes, it does. Rose Warren now back into the game. To serve it up for Frontier, they lead 15 to 14. Good low serve. Out. Nice return by Hogan, but it was just a little bit long. 16-14 now. Rose Warren to once again put it in play. Nice deep serve. Tip. Rose Warren keeps it in play. It's Lord Davenport. Tip. Nice return by Amherst. That was beautifully done by Krisha Sitower. Just tipped it over the top of the net for the point. This has been quite a chess match here in this second game. 16-15 Frontier with a one-point lead, but Amherst has the ball. Yet. 17-15. And Lauren Davenport will serve it for Frontier. Good low serve, ace. That makes the score 18 to 15. Net. 18-16. And Amherst now will serve it up. It's the tower now. We'll put it in play. Set. Spike. Out. 18-17. Frontier. Hammers hold serve. It's the tower again. will give Frontier the ball back. Riley Isler to serve it up. Good low serve. Nice dig. Set. Spike blocked at the net. Tipped over. Got the live. Set. Spike. And the point's going to go to Amherst. It looked like one of the players from Frontier hit the net. 19-18. Hammers to serve. Coach McDonald does not look all that happy. Although Amherst has made some great plays. He's definitely been Frontier has carried the play here, but it's some nice moves. You see Norris fall to serve for Amherst. Dean with the dig, set. Dean with the spike. Out. 
No, point goes to Frontier. I thought it uh, went out, but no. So 2018, Frontier gets the play back, the ball back. It's going to be Fuqua that's going to serve. Jalen Sullivan takes a seat for Frontier, as does Fuqua. So it's two. Fuqua serving. Rose Warren takes a seat. Set, tip, point. Yeah, nice, nice work at the net by Aaron Clays. Nothing fancy, just tipped it over and hit them where they weren't. 2019. And Sitawa will serve again for the Amherst Hurricanes. Dig, set, spike, point. And that was Haley Orlowski with the setup by Elizabeth Fuqua to make it 21-19. Olivia Dean now. Frontier, four points away from taking game two. They won game one, 25-19. Olivia, great serve. Nice job to keep it alive. Tipped over, Fuqua with the dig. Isler sets up Davenport, and it hit the net. Actually, it's good defense at the net by Clays, but Davenport just could not get it over. 21-20, Amherst will serve. Amanda Crow Chandler, serving for the Hurricanes. Isler. Tipped over by Frontier. Set. Spike blocked at the net. Good job. Nice net play there by Orlowski and Talega. As they combine on that block, and that drew the point. 22-20. Frontier gets the ball back. And this is going to be Ashley Talega to serve it for Frontier. Nice serve, good low serve. Set spike, Talega with the dig. Tip to Davenport, kept alive by Amherst. No, they lost him, a little miscommunication there and Frontier wins the point, 23-20. Time out on the floor, we'll take the break. Frontier on the verge of winning game two. They lead Amherst 23 20. This is Red Hawk Volleyball on Frontier Community Access Television. Back out here at Frontier Regional School, Chris Collins along with Alec Eckel, Sam Finch, Ben Roberts, Angela Self, and Kevin Murphy, the executive producer of Frontier Sports. And the Red Hawks, two points away from taking game two. They took game one to lay good a serve. Good low serve again. Set up, tip, point. Amherst stays alive. They win the point, 23-21, they get the ball back. Then you gotta win by two to take the game. It's a tower to serve, good low serve. Fuqua, Davenport, point. Game point upcoming. 24-21 Frontier. And a couple of substitutions again. <laughs> and this is Rose Warren serving what could be game point. Ace to end it. So Frontier takes game two by a count of 25-21. Game three upcoming. Will Frontier sweep to victory? We'll find out. This is Red Hawk Volleyball on Frontier Community Access Television. Back out here at Frontier Regional School. We're about a minute away from the start of game three. Frontier Red Hawks took game one by a count of 25 to 19. Although, I got to tell you, Amherst played very, very well. They, uh, they made some great plays on some very difficult serves and difficult returns. And same, ca same case in the second game. I thought that uh, Frontier definitely carried the play, but that Amherst did a good job to stay in it and 
made some key blocks and some key hits. So we'll see if Amherst can avoid the sweep. Of course, Frontier came in 8-1, 2-0 in the league. Amherst 4-3, 0-2 oh in the league, looking for their first league play. And of course, Frontier Regional comes in, stacked again, loaded, and looking like they're ready for another deep playoff run if things continue the way they have been. So we'll see if the Red Hawks can make quick work of the Hurricanes. Coming up on Frontier Red Hawks Sports later this week, the Red Hawks travel, football team travels to Orange to take down the Mahar Centers, once again coached by Jim Woodward, the legend. And uh, that'll be Friday night. And then upcoming games with Frontier on the road at Franklin Tech. And back home against the Turner's Falls Thunder. Two weeks from now. All those games, and of course, we have a full slate. I'm sure volleyball and soccer, and then in this winter, it'll be basketball season. Spend a lot of time in this gym, I think, <laughs> during the winter. Hopefully, it's warmer than it is tonight. Red Hawks will start off with the serve. Elizabeth Fuqua to serve it up for Frontier, leading two games to none. Good low serve again. Nice dig. Returned by Amherst. Set by Talega. Fuqua and Spike. Kept alive by the Hurricanes again. Great play. Just keep that ball in play. Fuqua. And a return by Frontier again. And Isler now. To Fuqua. Set and a Spike. Point. And that's been the combination. Fuqua to Davenport. That's been deadly tonight for the Red Hawks. They lead 1-0. Fuqua to serve it. Set, spike, point. Nicely done. Again by Lambert. That was actually, uh, excuse me, that was, uh, yeah, Lambert. And Amherst to put the ball in play. Nice ball. And again, spike for the point. Two one. And Dean to serve for Frontier. Dig, set, spike, well done. Nice net play by Olivia Hogan's again. She's been fierce. That ties the game at two and gives the ball back to Amherst for serve. Amanda Crow Chandler. Net. 3-2 Frontier, and this is going to be Ashley Talega. A deep serve, and that one, I believe, hit the roof. So technically, that's going to be an ace for Talega, and she'll serve it again. Good dig. And they're able to return that one. And the point goes to Frontier. Tony going to serve again. That's going to be out. Point goes back to Amherst. We should mention that tonight's game is uh, part of part of the, uh, the festivities are to raise money for the Javon Fox Recovery Fund. Javon is a 13-year-old who plays volleyball on the JV team at Athol High School. He was recently involved in an accident. We're trying to raise money to 
defray his medical expenses, and they are extensive. Now, they're checking with the scorer. Yeah, it's 5-3. That last point went to Amherst. Sean McDonald wants a little clarification as to exactly what happened. Amelia Beigel to serve it for Amherst. Well, maybe not. They're only going for a huddle. And I'm not sure what's going on here. Referee Rick Ducharme is over there talking to Sean McDonald. And it should be Amherst Ball. Yes. And it's going to be Bible to serve it for the Hurricanes. Going 5-3 in game three. Fuqua to set and the spike to Davenport. Kept alive by Amherst. Fuqua with the set. Davenport again with the spike. Point. 6-3 Frontier. And they will once again serve. Olivia Rosewarn, the sophomore, to set it up. Nice dig, set, spike. Was it out? That was in. Wait a second. Yeah, it's definitely out of Amherst Ball. Just, just got inside the line. And once again, Hogan's big play. It's had a great game. 6-4, Hogan's to serve. Is it in? It was in. Oh, I think Frontier thought that one was going long, but that's a, an ace, a deep ace for Hogan's, and she'll do it again. No serve. Kept alive by Frontier, just barely. Set, tip, dig. Good volley, good job by Winners to keep it alive. Set, tip. Just not enough height for Jalen Sullivan to put that ball over. And just like that, we are tied 6-6. And Hogan's to serve again for the Hurricanes. Good, strong, low serve. Ace. That was unreturnable. And just like that, Amherst has the lead, seven to six. Here in game three, they trail two games to none. But they are, they have the momentum right now. Hogan's. Set, spike, long. Eight, six. This has been Amherst's game so far, and this, at least this game has been. wrong it should be 8-7 yes 8-7 with Davenport to serve yeah. 9-7 and Amherst will get the ball back
Osley to serve. That's going to be out. 9-8. Frontier gets the ball back to serve it. Riley Isler. Ace. Some mustard on that one. Nine to nine. So a ball tied up again. Good block at the net. It's going to be a point for Frontier. Net. Tied at 10. And Amherst will serve it. Quick substitution. And back into the game is Yassine Norris Fall, the captain, one of the captains for this Amherst team. And she will serve with a score tied at 10 in game three. Let's dig, set. Spike blocked at the net, kept alive by Amherst, tipped over, nice point. That was just great network by the Hurricanes. And they made it count, 11 to 10. That fires up the Hurricane sidelines. You see Norris fall to serve it again. It's a good individual effort by Amherst in this uh, third game. Spike at the net by Jalen Sullivan. Does not go over. It's 12-10 Amherst. So these Hurricanes not going away. Low serve. Set. Put back over by Davenport. Set. Tip. Nice put back. It's going to be a point for Amherst because I believe Sullivan hit the net. Time on the floor will take the break. Game three, Amherst with the lead, 13 to 10 over Frontier. This is Red Hawk Volleyball on Frontier Community Access Television. So Amherst right now with lots of momentum, they have the lead, 13 to 10. That's the largest lead they've had at any point in this match. And the scene at Norris fa fa uh, fall to serve it for the Hurricanes. Is there? Put back over by Frontier. Nice little creep move there, but kept in by Frontier. Spike, point. And plays. And this has been Amherst's game. As they now have a four-point lead, 14 to 10. Yassine to serve it again. Nice play by Jalen Sullivan. They thought she was going to go for a spike, and she just tipped it over the top and won a big point for Frontier. 14-11 and they get to serve them. <laughs> Fuqua to serve it. Isler, that important, point. And makes the score 14 12 for the Red Hawks. They're going to come back here. Fuqua to serve it. Four Frontier. Yeah. Tried to do a little teardropper and did not quite get there. Oh. 
Lambert to serve it for Amherst. Tough serve, that's an ace. 16-12. The Hurricanes doing some good things in this game. They don't want to get swept in three straight. Another tough one, that one goes long. That makes the score 16-13. Olivia Dean now to serve for Frontier. Ace. Right about now would be a good time for Olivia Dean to go on a hot streak serving. Ready for second or third ace of the game. Ace. Back to back. This is where this is where she excels. It didn't do too well in the first game, but she's been pretty good serving ever since. Another tough return. This one gets put back into play. Set. Tip. Still alive. Checked in play by Amherst. Isler. To Fuqua. To Davenport. Nice dig. Kept alive by Amherst again. Isler. To Fuqua. To Davenport again. Last time it comes back. Did not clear the net. Point Amherst. That makes it 17-15, and the Hurricanes will get the serve. Amanda Crow Chandler to serve it up for Amherst. Out. 17-16. This is Talega to serve for the Red Hawks. What is the issue here? Some kind of a discussion with the scoring table. The referee Rick Ducharme. Way back on, and that's an ace for Ashley Talega. And that ties the score at 17. I'm not entirely sure what that delay was about, but we're back at playing volleyball once again. <laughs> Talega with it. And that point is, is going to go for Frontier. 18-17. Now, that ties it at 18. Amherst to serve. That's Beigel. Isler. And that's Davenport. And that went long. 1918. Ace. 20 to 18. So Amherst knocking on the door of what will be their first win. Again, first team to three wins the match. 
Frontier's up two games to none. This dig. Good hit. Kept alive. That's going to be. Is it in? Yes. Wow, everything falling Amherst's way in this game. 21 to 18. Time out on the floor. We'll take the break. Can Amherst hang on to win game three? We'll find out momentarily. This is Red Hawk Volleyball on Frontier Community Access Television. So Amherst leading 21 to 18. Four points away from their first win in this match. Frontier's up two games to none. Isler with the dig to Fuqua. Dean. Out. 22-18. Isler to Fuqua. Nice save. Denver with the spike. And a nice dig. Kicked over. Point. That was Abby Roberts. With a little teardropper tip shot. And that keeps things alive for Frontier. 22-19. Rosewarn to serve for the Red Hawks. Ace. 22-20. Can the Red Hawks mount a comeback here and sweep this match three games to none? Oh. And the point goes to Amherst. On the return. Game point here for the Hurricanes. 24-20. Hogan's. It says 23, but it should be 24-20. And it goes long. So Frontier still alive, 23-21. This is gonna be Lauren Davenport with the serve. Out. So this is game point. Twenty-four, twenty-one. Penelope Hosley to serve it for Frontier. Set by Rose Warren. Isler hits it over. Still alive by Amherst. Tip over, point, game. So Amherst takes game three. 25-21. Game four upcoming. This is Red Hawk Volleyball on Frontier Community Access Television. All right, Amherst will serve to start game four. Sitar to put it in play for the Hurricanes. Can they force a fifth and deciding game? We're going to find out. And they started off well with an ace. One nothing. Make it two aces. Two nothing. So Amherst coming out with fire in this. Game four. Amherst 
wins the point. Or excuse me, Frontier wins the point on that spike by This is Haley Orlowski. Put it in play. Good, strong, hard serve. Blocked at the net. Front frontier. Good net play there by the Red Hawks. That was Orlowski that won the previous point to set it up. 2 2. Frontier with the serve. Another tough serve. Ace. Those hard, low serves are tough to return. Another tough serve. Amherst is able to keep it in play this time. Fuqua to Dean. Point. 4-2. So after going down 2-0 on two aces, Frontier has rattled off four consecutive points. Yeah. I think that one just kind of slipped off of Haley's hand a little bit. And it's down 4-3 and Amherst. Will serve Amanda Crow Chandler. Net. 5 3. So back to back nets. And that sets the stage for Olivia Dean to serve it up for Frontier. Good hard low serve. Nice return by Amherst. Fuqua sets it for Davenport. The dig, kept in play. Fuqua, Isler, Davenport. Point. Six three, Frontier. Dean will go back and serve it again. Still in play. Fuqua sets it. Davenport can't throw it over the net. Amherst did a great job just to even return that serve by Dean. 6-4. And Amelia Beigel, the sophomore, to serve it for the Amherst Hurricanes. Again, they won the last game, 25-21. They trailed two games to one. Isler. And... That's Davenport with the spike. Nice dig. Kept in play. And Dean trying to keep it alive. That's going to be a point for Amherst. 6 5, Hurricanes. Oh. Isler. And that's going to be a spike and a point by Ashley Talega. And she will go back and serve it up with the Frontier leading 7-5 in game four. And put back over. Dean, Fuqua, Davenport. Point. Luke Wada Davenport's been the combination tonight with some nice assists from Dean and also Riley Isler. 8 5 Frontier. That's going to be a return just barely. Luke with the set. Tip over. Kept in play by Amherst. Fuqua 
set. Dean with the spike. Nice dig. Ramos gets the point. Once again, good midcourt play by the Hurricanes. Kept that alive. Pelega will sit. Isler is back in. And Amherst will serve it up. Trailing 8-6. to six. And this is Hogan's. Olivia Hogan's. Dean to Fuqua. Davenport. Point Frontier. 9-6. Okay, Frontier's net game has been solid. That's what's kind of kept them going. And Fuqua will serve it. For Frontier. The teardropper. Tip at the net. Frontier wins the point. This Amherst play. Touch the net. Can't do that. And it's 10-6. Frontier. Fuqua. Teardropper again. Just over the net. Spike. <laughs> well, those of you watching, now you know how my eye feels. 11 6 Frontier. Is their camera okay? Okay. Dean knocks it over. We've had it. I play my play guy get hit in the eye. Got a camera get hit in the, in the lens. 12 6 Frontier as they're cruising right now to victory in game three. Still got a ways to go though. Good thing that wasn't. I wish that had been in 3D, right? Fuqua with the serve. Tipped over. And it's going to be Frontier again. Amherst player hit the net. 13 6. And the Hawks are rolling here. Time out on the floor, we'll take the break. Frontier with the ball and the lead, 13-6. This is Red Hawk Volleyball on Frontier Community Access Television. So Frontier, after losing that third game, has come out storming here in game four. And they've won the first two games. They lost game three, and now we're into game four. The 13-6 lead, Fuqua with the ball. And the serve. Again, a nice little teardropper. And Amherst manages to return it. Fuqua, the set. Davenport, the spike. It's going to go long. 13-7. And Trisha Sitower will serve it for Amherst. That was a big, uh, a big uh, point there for the Hurricanes. because they're, they're starting to get blown out. Nope, I'm gonna say that was long, just barely though. Crowd doesn't like it, 14-7. And Davenport to serve for Frontier. And that went long. 14-8. Sky Nolan will serve it for the Amherst Hurricanes. Bible checks actually no strike that that's uh, Yassine Norris Fall. One of the captains will serve. Dean to Fuqua. And left-handed spike by Orlowski is out. Fuqua, back to Dean, spike, point. Frontier 15, Amherst 9. And this is going to be Riley Isler serving for Frontier. Good deep serve. Nice dig. Frontier wins the point. That was Talega and Orlowski at the net, making sure that one wasn't going to come back over. 
16-9 Frontier. Riley Isler to serve. Good knuckling serve, ace. 17-9, so this has been all Frontier here in game four. Again, yeah, if they win this, they take the match, having won the first two games. Isler, another tough serve to return. Amherst keeps it alive. Davenport, Fuqua, Dean. Amherst is able to keep it in play. Isler, Fuqua, Dean tips it over. Good volley, Amherst keeps it in play. Good block at the net by Dean. Frontier wins the point. And Dean kept that alive with a nice block at the net and Haley Orlowski finished it off. 18 to nine. Isler to serve again. Fuqua keeps it in play. Tipped over by Talega. Nice spike out. 19th. <laughs> I've been hit again with the ball. That's it. Murphy, we're, getting, we're buying a screen for the next one of these games. 19-9. Isler. Oh, good deep serve. The dig. Tipped over. Fuqua. Knocks it up, over, Amherst keeps it alive. Tip, out. Frontier wins the point, 20 to nine. That's, I think that's like eight or nine <laughs> unanswered points by the Red Hawks as they are cruising here in game four. Time on the floor, we'll take the break. Red Hawks five points away from victory in this matchup with Amherst. Frontier 20. Amherst 9, this is Red Hawk Volleyball on Frontier Community Access Television. Red Hawks now, getting ready to take the floor again. It's been Riley Isler who's been, been on tear here serving. He's putting those balls right on the back line and Amherst has done a good job returning them but the net play has been superior for Frontier in this game. Isler, again, deep serve. Kept in play by the Hurricanes. Davenport to Fuqua. Talega tipped over. Point Frontier. 21 to 9. Isler will serve it again. Isler. Kept in play by Amherst. Goes out long. in play. Point Frontier. Twenty-three nine. This has been all Frontier in game four. Here on Pack the House Night. Isler again a deep serve. Good dig. Still in play. Talega tips it at the net. And we're still in play. Fuqua, and Orlowski couldn't finish, and that breaks a pretty successful service by Frontier. <laughs> and Amherst <laughs> to serve it up. Out of bounds, 24-10, match point upcoming. Haley Orlowski. Maybe we'll all get out of here alive tonight. Orlowski to serve it for Frontier. This is for the win. And I want to say she went a hell of a line. So point goes to Amher. So yeah, Haley just jumped about a half step over the line. Can't do that. Pro Chandler now to serve for Amherst. Fuqua, the Dean, Spike, 
kept in play. Another hit by Talega. Out of bounds. 24-12, Amherst will keep the serve and stay alive in the match. Amanda Crow Chandler, the senior, to serve for Amherst. Long. And that's game. 25-12, Frontier takes game four and the match. Here on Pack the House Night at Frontier Regional School. I want to thank Sam Finch, Ben Roberts, Angela Self, the executive producer, Kevin Murphy. My name is Chris Collins. Frontier wins game one, 25 to 19. Game two, 25 to 21. Amherst won game three, 25 to 21. And then the Red Hawks came out and steamrolled in game four, winning by a count of 25 to 12. That'll do it for our coverage tonight for Frontier Regional School. Thanks for watching. So long at Frontier Community Access Television.